Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Corypheus has already killed the Divine along with countless others. And he'll kill a lot more unless we stop him. You've already sealed the breach. That's damned impressive. I could barely get my friends to stop fighting. Still, if you think I can help. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him. And he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Alistair. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time... I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my sister out of the Free Marches. I'm never really happy leaving Anders alone. But once I realized Wardens were acting strangely, I had no choice. I've seen Corypheus affect Anders' mind before. If he was involved, I couldn't risk it happening again. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. There was a voice in him, driving him toward justice for the mages. So loud that it drowned everything out, even me. I heard that you two were... close. When someone betrays you like that, it takes a long time to get past it. I don't know if we ever have, but I can't just give up on it. He'd be here now if it was anyone after me but the Wardens. Anders used to be a great one. I couldn't risk exposing him to whatever they're going through. It went... poorly... the first time we met Corypheus. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Wardens' thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. 